Today I'm going to do an experiment with the air conditioning in my 2019 Ram 3500. The purpose of the experiment is to figure out if the heater core is in any way interfering with the air conditioning and causing the temperature to go uh, higher than it should be. And the way I'm going to conduct the experiment is I've got two digital thermometers here. Each thermometer has two probes. So I've got a total of four probes, one in each of the vents. And then I'm going to start the truck. And right now the truck is at ambient temperature. It's not been running all day long. And I will let the truck get up to normal operating temperature. And what we'd expect is that if the heater core is not interfering with the air conditioning, then these vents, the vent temperatures, are going to go down, down, down and reach a low point, and they won't go back up. They will stay at their low point, and it'll taper off. But if the heater core is interfering with the coolant in any way, uh, with the uh, air conditioning in any way, then what we would expect is the vent temperature will reach a low but as the coolant temperature rises, it's going to start to cause the air conditioning temperature to go up. So I'm going to begin that experiment now and see what the results are. I do want to point out that today is a reasonably warm day for the area I live in. I live in kind of western Washington. And the ambient temperature right now in each of the vents is between 100 and 108 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to talk loudly because I've got the air conditioning and the engine running, but the experiment has been running for 30 minutes and the engine temperature has reached kind of stability at 166, 180, I'm sorry, 188 degrees. And uh, it's not really going up minute over minute from that. Um, my left vent temperature is currently 51. My uh, vent here is the at uh, 53 this one's at 46 and that one's at 48 and the interesting thing is these vent temperatures pretty quickly got to those temperatures and stayed there they have not really gone back up as the engine temperature increased they maybe maybe this one here went up by one or two degrees it reached a low of 50 and now it's at 53. So if it is, if the heater core is interfering with this vent here, then um, it maybe made it go up by three degrees. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna close the valve that I put in the heater core loop to prevent uh, coolant from running through the heater core and see if the temperature of this vent drops down back to 50. Here's the valve that I inserted in my heater core loop and I just closed it. The truck's now been running for about 10 minutes with the heater core loop closed and something really interesting happened. So this leftmost vent here has gone down four degrees in temperature. This vent here has gone down seven degrees in temperature. It's seven degrees cooler now. This one's gone down two degrees and that one's gone down two degrees as well. The main vent that's benefiting from the heater core loop being closed is this vent right here. It's seven degrees cooler. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back out and I'm going to open the heater core loop valve and let the coolant flow through the heater core again and see if the temperatures rise. Well, as soon as I opened the heater core loop, within 30 seconds, the temperatures shot back up. So this vent here went up by three degrees. This one went up by six degrees. And these two kind of seem to be about the same. But within 30 seconds, the temperature of this vent in particular went up by six degrees just by opening the heater core loop. I'm going to go back out and close the valve one more time just to confirm that the temperature goes down by approximately 6 degrees when I turn off the heater core loop. All right, well, within five minutes of closing the valve to prevent the water from flowing through, flowing through the heater core, this vent dropped 7 degrees. It's down to 46 degrees right now. <coughs> 
and when the valve is open that allows water to flow through it stays around 53 degrees so twice now I've proven that closing the valve lowers this by six or seven degrees that's pretty amazing um, I think I'm gonna do one last experiment which is go out there and open the valve one last time and verify the temperature goes back up from uh, well the let's see here right now it's 46 on this vent I'm gonna open the valve and make sure it goes back up to about 53 all right within two minutes of me opening the valve this vent went up by six degrees so I can say with high confidence that having the heater core loop coolant uh, is interfering with the temperature of the air conditioning in particular this vent right here is the one that's most affected by it and I want to call out that the out ambient temperature outside where I'm at today is 84 degrees I imagine this effect would be more pronounced in an environment where the uh, temperature is higher in this chart you can see that the temperatures had reached equilibrium by around 1200 seconds into the test and then around 1700 seconds into the test I went outside and I closed the valve that blocks the coolant that flows through the heater core and the temperature immediately started to drop and by around 2100 seconds into the test it had reached the low where the driver's side vent had dropped by seven degrees. I then went outside and opened the valve and the temperatures very quickly shot back up, especially with the driver's side right vent. They went all the way back up to, you know, by seven degrees. And then around the 2300 or 2400 mark, I went outside and I closed the valve and the temperature went down again by seven degrees. And then around the 2700 mark, I opened the valve and the temperatures went back up. So twice the temperature went down when closing the valve and twice the temperature went up when opening the valve.